In this video, we're going to discuss the universal collective that's global energy for the lunar month of the Zodiac Cancer full moon. What we can expect and how we can best navigate our lives moving forward. My name is Edward. Thank you for joining us, tuning in, and watching. Edward, psychic medium, animal communicator, your soul messenger host, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest a life that a soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. That's a mouthful, isn't it? All right. So, go to my website, edwardregasta.community, link readings. There you can find out what my schedule is if you'd like to see me for a reading, telephone reading, or you can see me in person in Sugarloaf, New York. And go to my website, link Medium Tarot TV, and all the current videos will be up there. And any theme healing songs that YouTube allows me to share. And it's also on that link you can subscribe for more the daily energy videos. Medium Tarot TV Plus, Feed Your Soul, Video Subscription Service. All right, let's get to it. So, as you would expect, with Zodiac Cancer Full Moon, it is going to be emotional. But when we get to the Psychic Insight theme of expect the unexpected, uh, I think you, you're not going to see it coming. Or maybe you do. All right. Let's uh, jump right in with the picking up where we left off with the last video, the current week energy. And everything discussed here is going to be in influence through February 15th, 2022. The actual lunar month is January 17th through February 15th, 2022. Excuse me. <clears throat> but the weak energy and where it's going to be the strongest is January 17th through the 24th. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is significant because it's the male and female epitome of the element of Earth. So, <clears throat> excuse me, according to the cycle that I utilize, which is a lunar cycle, so it goes by the cycles of the moon, this is the last week that we are in the autumn vibration, universally, collectively. And that's the most productive. So, this zodiac cancer full moon, in the dead of, what's well, going to feel like, the dead of winter, depending on where you are on the globe, of course, is the last hurrah. It's our last chance, universally, collectively, for a push having anything to do with the element of Earth. And I'm going to tell you what that is right now. Work, job, finances, career, sense of security within, self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence, the name of the game. Make it or break it. Our physical health and our long-range goals. So before winter hits vibrationally, which will be January 24th, but this is, I would say, the last, the last hurrah, the last push. So do what we need to do now, having to do with work matters, career, could be health, whatever, whatever is uh, proper for you. And then when the winter comes, I mean, of course, winter is officially here, as of Yule, December 21st, I believe it was, the winter solstice, and the sun entered Capricorn, which they're technically in, still in, through January 18th. So all male and female Earth sun signs will be activated, empowered, and or triggered. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Though particularly those, specifically those who are 29 years old or older, the more mature energy. Though all Earth signs will be, will feel this presence. So what do we need to secure? Having anything to do with the element of Earth. That's our homework. All right.
When it comes to that, though, and because we have an emotional influence of zodiac cancer, we might be more inclined to, let's say we're saving money, might be more inclined to save something not only for security reasons, like secure finances or health reasons, it might also be for some fun as well, like a future trip or um, a future happy event. Could be that as well, which wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. All right. Now, the day energy. Let's see what's going on. So we have the moon in Zodiac Cancer, obviously. The moon goes void, of course, at 6.48 p.m. Eastern. The full moon is at 6.48 p.m. Eastern. It's the exact same time it goes void, of course. And then it enters Z Zodiac Leo at 11.03 p.m. Eastern. Color of the day is ivory. It is Martha Luther, Martha Luther King. Martin Luther King, sorry. Junior Day. So we honor his, his remembrance and great deeds and message. All right. The actual day energy is the influence of the planet Mercury, which is the mind, in Zodiac Aquarius. And Aquarius is forward thinking. In fact, with Aquarius, everything is about tomorrow. So, so it's obviously future, right? So, the lower vibration, there is no right or wrong, but the lower vibration is a loving warning not to rush, R-U-S-H. The higher vibration is journey of consciousness, Mercury in Aquarius. So, as an indication, at this time of year, all those fantasy uh, books, shows, movies, TV series that have to do with a journey of consciousness will be very popular. Recently, I would say, off the top of my head, the Wheel of Time fit the bill. And of course, there's much, much more um, that's older. That's just more recent. So that's something to delve into. We want to, obviously, we want to expand our consciousness. So by looking at a different perspective, different point of view, different culture, we'll do that. We'll definitely broaden our horizons and consciousness. All right. Then we get to the Psychic Insight theme for this Zodiac Cancer Full Moon. And this is the energy of expect the unexpected. Wait for it. And the Astrological Association is the moon in Zodiac Cancer. So if you have a Zodiac Cancer moon, you're activated, empowered, and or triggered. Also, if you have Mercury in Aquarius as well. So, this is the energy of expect the unexpected. This is the energy of are we expecting great things? Great expectations, or are we expecting the floor to drop out from underneath us? Okay, there used to be a fun ride I would go on. I don't even remember what it's called, but you would step into this cylinder contraption, and then with the with the uh, the force of the energy when you're spinning, you stick to the walls, and then they would drop the floor. That's where I get that expecting the floor to drop out from underneath you. I forget the name of that ride, but it was a fun one. So it's all in what we're expecting. And, you know, that's saying that I've said a million times by now, do we see the glass as half empty or half full? If we see it as half empty, 
been there, done that. We're coming from lack or loss. If we see it as half full, then we're just expecting the universe to replace it. That's the way to go, of course. There is an offering here, but do we acknowledge it? Do we recognize it? If we're closed off, odds are we won't see it. I won't even give it a, a ghost of a chance, if you will. There's a reason why I use that term. But that brings up a very interesting point, ghost of a chance. Uh, we'll come back to that thought. <clears throat> My favorite part is the theme healing song. The keywords I received were expectations. I couldn't find anything that I felt was proper. Then unexpected. Again, couldn't find anything that was proper. Then I took a different perspective and the keyword of open, O-P-E-N. And we ended up with frozen by Madonna released 1998 with her Ray of Light album, which, thinking back, I actually enjoyed. So Frozen has to do with being closed off, opening our minds, opening our hearts, and that's what we need at this time. I mean, it's a good thing to have that all the time, but we really need it at this time. Now, the fun twist, I didn't even see this coming, is that this is this uh, Zodiac Cancer full moon is also known as the Cold Moon, and we have a song called Frozen. That was a fun twist. But the real expect the unexpected is with Mercury going technically retrograde, on January 14th, 2022, will be, will go direct February 1st, but we're still going to be in the shadow afterwards. So for this, for the time period of January 14th through February 15th, 2022, that time period, we will have expect the unexpected because when Mercury goes retrograde, often people pop in from our past. It could be the actual people or it could be the issues that were involved with them. And for the solar month of Capricorn 2022, we have fate involved. And even when we go into the next zodiac sign on January 19th, we're still under the influence of the zodiac Cancer full moon of January 17th. So past life could come into play because part of that month energy was fate, F-A-T-E. So past life associations could be hopefully acknowledged and recognized or the true meaning of being reconnected with someone on whatever capacity. Could be love, though, but on whatever capacity. Could be revealed. And talk about healing, closure, processing. So it could go as far back as a past life, or it could go far back as our youth yeah, this lifetime. So, expect the unexpected. That's an interesting twist. All right. So, we're not to be frozen. And we're to allow. Accept, allow, and then we can move forward and make whatever changes necessary with that stance. All right. You have a great one. Hope to see you real soon in another video or perhaps for a telephone reading or in person in Sugarloaf, New York. You take care. Thanks.